Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here the question, a 34 years old man with a submandibular gland astron is undergoing excision of this submandibular gland. The incision is seated transversely approximately 4 cm below the mandible. After incision, the skin platysma and deep fascia which is following structure is most likely to be in counter. So from this question now we have to find out the key point that a submandibular gland stone for submandibular gland stone the gland is excised in this procedure and the incision was given 4 cm below the mandible after incision of the skin platysma and disc fascia which structure will lie first here the options options are facial artery facial vein lingual nerve hypoglossal nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve so we have to find out one of the structure which is located at this place so here we can see here this is the different type of the structure and submandibular gland we know that the submandibular gland is located at this region and 4 cm below that means in this area there is a transverse incision is given and we can see this skin superficial fascia platysma muscle and deep fascia is removed and after that a, a vein is located and we can see this vein this vein is the facial vein so there is the chance of encounter of this facial vein here we can see this is the lower end of the mandible and from the mandible 4 cm below in this area so here this vein it may be encountered and this is the facial vein so our answer is the facial vein the facial vein will encounter after incision of the skin platysma and deep fascia and it is 4 cm below the mandible that means the base of the mandible or lower border of the mandible where the subindicular gland is located. Thank you all.